our fifth presenter is Tom Freund uh, from Digisol, presenting on how Digisol is solving um, a lot of compelling needs of transportation and energy. Tom? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, is there, what's the control over here? Ah. Hmm. Okay. There it is, Digisol. At Digisol, we are passionate about making mobility platforms stable and trustworthy, whether in air, land, or sea. <clears throat> and a little word about myself. Oops. How come it doesn't work? Uh, okay. A little word about myself. Um, I bring three plus decades in aerospace related technology and manufacturing technology. And what launched Digisol was the patent you see on the right. It is a patent for a network of intelligent systems that address a certain issue within airspace, air excuse me, general platforms that are becoming part of urban air mobility. We, I'm looking, I looked at uh, insurance in the transportation, in the transportation business. And uh, very interesting, nothing much up here over here. Uh, the problem as I, see, as I see it right now is what I call retroactive uh, horizon in the sense that we, the, the underwriting and claims uses history to assess essentially what goes on in, the, uh, in, in a particular, uh, particular uh, transportation uh, business. And uh, we look at a solution. A solution is really, from our point of view, is to look at be, become more proactive in the sense of introducing th proactive oversight. And what is proactive oversight? Well, it's basically a network of intelligent nodes and the idea basically is that it has, as individual software, that knows quite a bit about little devices that are attached to a transportation network, a transportation uh, platform, as you see on the right over here. And the goal of each of these little notes you see over here, this is the prototype version of it, uh, is to catch things early, deal with them, and keep things running. What do I mean by that? Catching early means catch anomalies that may occur in the data coming out of these little components. And if you see those anomaly, anomalies trigger contingency procedures that will deal with them and try to keep th things running as best as possible. And by the way, if you happen to trigger several contingency, say several contingency uh, uh, procedures because you got several an anomalies, it'll merge them intelligently. So make sure that that transition to the best, best possible way of running is smooth. Whoops. So what's the impact of that, basically? The impact is to deal with what I call deterioration. Because the deterioration of the device, even though things may be working hunky-dory fine in a particular platform, like this little truck over here, and everything looks OK, it is a source of risk. Deterioration is the road to failure. And deterioration, therefore, is a risk they have to deal with over here. And the idea is to implement this protective oversight of uh, protected oversight of uh, assets and try to overcome risk by doing that. I apologize for the display on the right-hand side. Things didn't come out as well, but uh, that is the, that is thing, that's our goal in developing this thing. There are other areas in the insur in insurance uh, uh, domain that could have potential application with using this capability. And one of them is smart housing, smart houses, and potentially connected health as well. What is a marketplace? This particular product sits in the marketplaces of both telematics and fleet management. As you can see over here from the figures, they're quite healthy markets in themselves and offer quite a bit of potential. What is our business model? Our business model is OEM partnerships. Sorry for the spelling mistake. The idea basically is that we offer a product to an OEM for incorporation into their, into their platform in order to incorporate that protective oversight capability. Or it could be licensed 
to the OEM or to a fleet or a fleet a, a fleet organization, an organization running a fleet of uh, trucks, or it could be essentially given as a license for insurance company to essentially uh, uh, essentially uh, extract the data and see, and see what they can get out of that, of that to uh, assess the true risk of that or incorporating that that fleet. And finally, customization. Their components are software that can be customized in order to essentially uh, address. Uh, and address their, the particular needs they may have. And what, is, what are we asking for? Because in the middle of developing the prototype, we essentially want to locate partnerships with OEMs in order for essentially have a similar environment. And uh, the ability, in turn, will give them the opportunity to use an early version of product with a better uh, deal so far as uh, terms are concerned. And what we're looking for funding, as you see in the bottom over here, uh, is, well, for engineering development and initial business development. And that's about it for me. Thank you very much.